Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can build an architectural PC. And I'm not only going to talk about it, but in fact, I will show you how to build an architectural PC. I have bought a secondhand computer from my office and I will be moving few part around. I am disassembling the entire PC and then reassembling it into a new uh, cabinet. So it will be a fun video. It will be a chill video. I will be uh, talking about, you know, what software is need, what configuration, what uh, is the best configuration for our softwares, what will be the ideal budget configuration for you, which will take up load of Lumion, Revit, uh, AutoCAD and SketchUp. And I will talk about, you know, what will be the high end specs that you can go up to uh, to make a proper architectural rendering machine. So this video will be a really fun video. So try watching this video till the end. And guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, this is the PC that I have bought from my current office. Uh, pretty good specs. This is RTX 3060 12 GB. Uh, it had 16 GB of uh, 2600 mhz RAM, which is also not bad. Then it has a pretty good decent processor that is Ryzen 7 third generation processor. And uh, it has a good RGB cooling fan and there is a lot of things, the motherboard is actually pretty powerful motherboard. It is Asus uh, 570X, which is one of the uh, like, you know, full size ATX motherboard. So this is a pretty huge cabinet. Uh, it has a power supply of 650, uh, 650 watts, I think. Uh, if I upgrade my graphic card in future, I would go ahead and probably upgrade it to 750 watts but i won't be going into too much depth of all this right now i will just disassemble it first and i have bought another cabinet over here it has like three rgb fans in the front and yeah right now it is empty that's why i could pick it up very easily but i will be setting up everything over here into this cabinet from this cabinet so it's gonna be a long process. Probably I will just show a few glimpses of it in a time last form and that's it. And then I will proceed ahead and explain you step by step what you need for what softwares, what software is dependent on GPU, what software is dependent on CPU and all those things. So guys, stay with me. Don't get bored. It is, it is a good and helpful video for you all. So guys, as you can see, the PC is finally set up and uh, things are working. Things are looking great. Um, uh, what I wanted to talk about today was like what what should be your configuration for a decent architectural setup? It's actually 12.30 a.m. midnight. So uh, I am a bit sleepy, but uh, ignore all that. <laughs> and try to focus on what I'm saying. So if you're using Lumion, Lumion is a GPU based software and you would need a good amount of GPU to work on Lumion. And uh, if you are using uh, Lumion, Revit and uh, SketchUp, 3ds Max, all these things, then you need to maintain an equilibrium between your CPU, GPU and uh, your RAM. So the first thing I would say like a mid-range uh, PC that if you want to build for architecture, I would say like go with Ryzen 5, uh, the latest generation or the fifth generation, Ryzen 5, fifth generation. So that will be giving you a good enough performance, like not the best, but good enough performance that you can sustain. For the graphic card, I would say uh, don't go below 3050 because 3050 is something that will give you at least the base level performance for Lumion. Lumion needs a very powerful graphic card. It needs 
a lot of vram specifically vram like if you are uh, if you want to save some money and go for amd graphic card and you use lumion then amd graphic card would be the best options for you because i have personally tested lumion with amd graphic card or which have a lot of vram onto it unlike uh, rtx graphic card like which uh, 3060 has only 6 gb and there is another variant that is 12 gb that i have in this but uh, if you go with the 6 gb version and uh, if you compare it with amd which is a cheaper graphic card but has a lot more vram then amd will perform better so you can definitely go ahead uh, with AMD graphic card if you are using Lumion it will perform really well it will render twice as fast as 3060 because i have tested it and if you want a proof i have video link in the description you can go and check it out and um, uh, i would say you can go with Ryzen 7 third generation fourth generation fifth generation all are good uh, the cpu right now are at lower cost you don't have to go for the latest generation of ryzen cpus uh, you can definitely go ahead and get a 3600x or uh, around around third generation of ryzen they are very powerful cpus so if you if you uh, go with the intel intel uh, processors the only loss that you will have is like you won't be able to upgrade the processor uh, with upcoming generations or upcoming like you cannot even switch from like i5 to i7 so that won't be an option for you but uh, in amd processors that's not the case you can definitely uh, upgrade the processor later on if you want so that is something that i like about amd plus amd performs a little bit better but single core performance of intel is better so i would suggest go with amd i won't go into depth and i am not that a uh, big of a tech expert but i know what so how software is perform based on intel chip and based on amd chip so amd chip uh, the older generation have some kind of uh, issues but they are they are good to go i have used them personally so there won't be any problem for ram i would say minimum minimum is 16 gb ram if you want to uh do good quality renders on lumion and if you have if you are planning to make a heavy 3d file so 16 gb ram will be minimum and if you want to go with rtx graphic card go for at least 3050 or 3060 i would recommend 3060 graphic card which will give you a good enough performance um but if you want to build a good quality pc you should definitely go with the latest generation and the uh, highest configuration of the processor that would be uh, the 12th generation i7 processor and for uh, amd it will be ryzen 7 sixth generation processors which are pretty good they are i am not sure that are they in market or not but um, fifth generation are pretty good as well you can go with them uh, get a good quality motherboard uh, i would say don't go with uh, mini atx or uh, like you know mid atx you can go with full size atx motherboard or mid mid would be better if you have a budget but uh, full size atx motherboard would be better for you because you will have a lot of option to upgrade uh, it it will have like more ram slots uh, in future if you want to add two more sticks of ram you can definitely go ahead and do that so there are benefits of uh, having a mid size atx motherboard or a full size atx motherboard so uh, these are the basic configuration that you should be looking for and you should consider uh, for hard disk i would definitely say like uh if you have the latest motherboard or the new motherboard it will have a space specifically for nvme drive nvme drives are chip based hard drives but uh, they don't have any moving part they are just a chip that will go and sit 
on your uh, PC and I will I will show a small uh, picture of how it looks on my CPU uh, on my uh, motherboard so you will get an idea how it looks this is good because it doesn't have any moving part it has very very less chances of getting corrupted it has very less chances of getting corrupted so that is something that uh, you can consider if not then go with ssd at least have 500 gb of ssd on your cpu or on your pc uh, install your operating system install few of your softwares that you use on usual basis on the ssd because SSD will actually give you a boost in performance because the data transfer rate is pretty high in SSD. So these are my tips. Uh, I will post a configuration on the screen uh, of this PC as well as the PC which will give, which will give you a good enough performance for all the rendering softwares that we use. Um, that will be for the mid range and one more uh, budget I will give you that will be a high end PC I, which is not over uh, over buffed but it will be a high end PC and it will run every software that we have very smoothly. So guys this was it. Um, I hope you liked the video. I have tried to show you as much as I can because it was a very long process and I am really tired. So if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel guys and yeah see you soon.